Do so. Can we speak? Oh, Prince Ephraim. Of course, my friend. I feel I should apologize for making you side against Grado in this. Bah! What nonsense! Please, use me however you would to end this war. I want you to know how honored I am to fight at your side again. Show me a little of your skill with the spear, like when you taught me. Hmm. Ephraim, your skills have grown significantly since then. Why, the first time I met you, you could hardly hold a spear. I couldn't even bring myself to lie and say you weren't that bad. <laughs> There's no need to be cruel. I realize how helpless I was then. Let me finish. Even then, your strong will was most impressive. On your first day wielding a spear, you chose to challenge me. I remember how enthusiastic your attack was. You were determined to win. But you were destined to lose that day. Still, I was quite shocked. You were trying to learn my skill. You were trying to steal it from me. <laughs> and I thought an apprentice was supposed to be obedient to his master. When you fight, you must respect your opponent, not obey him. Besides, you knocked me out so quickly, I hardly touched you. I never dreamed of testing my skills against the Prince of Reneus. After that match, though, <laughs> I changed my mind. I knew it would be interesting to teach my skills to someone like you. Now you're the one speaking nonsense. Ah, I know. Let's duel again after this battle. I'm older now, better trained. I'm sure I can beat you this time. Yes, fine. I'd like to see if you've been keeping up with your training.